but well, Dredd they don't takes have Artez. It okay. So Dredd's gonna pick it up. So mm. who's who's playing what here? This is this is interesting. They have two heroes that are pretty good at doing that. Well, as I say, that Trixie walks out. He'll have one fissure to buy him some time. Is it gonna be enough? And Whoa. certainly not. First blood comes out, Rubik draws it. Um, but uh, it's caster a little bit more efficient. If they can avoid death, then now they'll have somebody in the jungle that can clear out all that farm and start making some progress towards the Hand of Midas, where just a noob is beginning his quest for the recipe. Okay, jump in. Stormhammer to fly out. Dread might be in trouble. Pops the God Strike with a fissure help. It might be enough, and it will be. Chops on down the Vengeful Spirit, but here comes a rotation from Apo Ninja, but doesn't have enough mana to work with. She does, She hits hard, but he hits harder. And now with that, has to step back. It's help from Roman. Now Roman came into a world of hurt. He's going to go down. The Spirit Ball going to be connecting from Boogie. Boogie going to get popped with the nuke damage from Bood. Who looks comes in from behind? It's Trixie trying to get the connection onto Apo Ninja. Still lives and manages to mingle herself away from trouble. Stunned Another, the fly. Ooh. He's still under the sentry here. They can get him. But he still wants to get the kill and does get it with the help of the Broodlings. They drop Matamba Man and it makes for a double kill on your Which Broodmother's already doing? He dreads a man. I got to meet him. He's a cool guy, but you're not that manly. He turned right around trying to take a fight. And that wasn't the time to do so. That means that Four Acres get two picks out of it. They denied their own tower, and they take a tower themselves. And they're not done yet. They charge on four. They get the Fissure and the Stormbolt. See you later, Roman. Followed up with an Echo Slam. Dread, he just got back. He might go down again. Swap back, attempting to go to safety right here. But this is a relentless Four Acres group, and they are just sailing away with this early momentum swing. Now they might lose Mutombo Man, they will. Roman is already back. TP's in. Goddamn. Sees Trixie, who is just a bit overstretched. Maybe four anchors now might lose a whole lot. This game is just as ridiculous as the series has been all day. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh -oh. Trixie's done for. Will oh! He's done for. Stolen Stormhammer. Gonna be the cherry on top from Roman. So, a two for four trade, but Ruben... Or the Brood, rather, and... Now even just pushing that tier 2 in the bottom lane, having that vision to see if she breaks her web is pretty important. Looks like the other team will go on to Nemphi here. Swap, stun under the tower range. Easy Ice Blast, and from the backside, RMN again with that Stormbolt will bring him down. Volux, he TPs in, but it'll just be to his death. Chilling Touch brings him down. Easy peasy. Now all the while in the other lane, they do punish that Drow Ranger who was trying to split push. Damage for the kill, they force three TPs down to the bottom lane. And Rubik, he's going to wander his way down as well. Showing off that Blink Dagger, has a power shot. Uh-oh, clears out the trees, they find RMN Shackle. Does not latch, Flesh Golem comes out, as does the Tombstone. Can he soul rip it? No, the silence just in time. No more Tombstone for this fight. Roman gets finished off by a power shot to the face, but Boogie in trouble. Dread will right-click him down. Now Matumba Man, low, finished off, but the dunk from Trixie makes this fight a slightly different trade, or does it? 4 ASC about to get cleaned up. Trixie can't even kill. God damn, it's a one for five. Triple kill for Dread as the farm. Fury without having to worry about anything really stopping him. So they're putting a lot of focus and priority onto him, finishing that out. And they smoke and go on the move. A relocate in store for us. Where are they going to head? It's going to be the cutoff Dread here. And it looks like it will be a kill. Now, it takes a oh. while to finish. And Boogie's going to get popped from the Ice Blast. Nice oh, jumper. my. Coming and Dread gets goddamn. the kill before he dies. That's that's not that bad. They're Sven gets the kill, too. but they're getting... Are they? RMN's on Mike. his way in. It's going to be close. Nope, the blink back. Now Matumba Man gets left behind. He'll go chop, chop, chop. Roman goes down, but it sets up for the rest of the team to get here. Just the noob on his way in. Frost Arrow's flying through. They get the kill on Matumba Man. A two for two. Uh, I would label that a victory out. Big item, though. There is no Solar Crest on the dire side, so no counteraction to it. Well, it's interesting the way Justin Noob has also been playing this brood. Now, we might have to hold that thought because they're already engaging up at the secret shop, you can see. Now, Dread could be caught in the pickle here. Matoma Man looking to flex Whoa! out. Big Echo Slam to fly in from Trixie. And look at that, Matoma Man. And all this golden glory has his full 10 second BKB. They wait for the second life of Ambo Ninja. And they just chop her to little sashimi bits. Suddenly, a three-man takedown, and all three go into the pocket of Matumba Man. Hoping and uh -oh. waiting for that BKB, and he makes Relocate. good use of charge on in. They're going to get goddamn as well, making four. Oh, I thought my. that was going to be an ultra kill, but <laughs> get what snagged up from Nebfi. Yeah, what? Man, he's, he's quite the beefcake at this point, and they're not looking to let up. They smoke right away, and they already migrate towards the mid lane. They got vision on Dread here. 
Early power shot. Can he get a good shackle here? He can't. Relocate. And now relocate. Hit. And another kill. Oh, and beautiful God. setup once more. Dredd just a little too far from home trying to take that kind of farm. But hey, look at this mid lane. They might get a catch on to Trixie and pull back. He still walks into Ice Blast here. He's just going to fight because he knows he's oh. dead. It finishes with a big Echo Slam. Will get rewarded with the XP even after he oh, goes down. No. Oh, no! Ninja goes in to help but is caught out with the relocate return. Matama Man on the chase here. Should be able to jump, get him. Jump. Catches him. Gets the kill dominating now for Matama Man. High ground Seven escape going to be coming out from goddamn back. So be ready for it, but <laughs> yeah. here we go. Four anchors coming back together once more, keeping eyes on Roche. He is up. They would love to be able to oh. take it themselves. Desso on the brood. Easy? Great split pushing item there to take down these towers. But, oh, mid lane, Afaninja gets stunned up. Relocate in. BKB, Sven just chopping away. Drow Ranger in the grave again. Dread caught by a shackle that latches. And this is just an unstoppable streak. They cut through the AA. Just like that, you blink your eye and you miss it. It's a three for nil and four ASC are going to start looking for towers. They know the brood is in here somewhere, but can they find her? God damn it. Yeah, they do. They cut down the trees and they cut down the spider. An ultra kill from a Tumba man as the four anchors bust this game. RMN doesn't get the steal he's looking for here right now hanging on to Decay. And Tower this will tower be taking some damage. With Overcharge? Are you kidding me? He has Mask of Madness. Doesn't want to use it quite yet. Yep. Remember Sven is the Aegis carry here. Now Nemphi coming in. Just a noob walking forward. Silence on two from the Drow Ranger but they've already lost their tower. Oh. Trixie again with a dunk on three setting it up for the rest of his team to come in. They've lost the Rubik. They've lost the Venge and now all four ASC have to do is reset a little bit. Nice sun set up on just a noob but do they actually have the damage? Drow Ranger still alive but a shackle connects on two heroes. That should secure the kill on the Arachnid and now F and NJ stunned up left behind and put six feet under. It's all four Four anchors coming out here. Matumbo Man is beyond God. Quick ultra kill right there after. And I think at this point they have, I mean, they pretty, pretty much the way it. the series has gone, and it could be topsy-turvy. I don't think there's a comeback at this point. I think four anchors have taken this game. No. I mean, the Draw Ranger, even has a buyback here, he's not going to use it, and it will probably cost this next lane of barracks. Uh-oh, swap back onto this fan. I was just going to say, remember, he still has the Aegis. 4 ASC Relocate can afford save. to be... A little bit aggressive here. He blinks on BKB. Trixie now the one on the run is dread to show up, but he does. Oh, side steps caught between himself and Apple Whoa. Ninja. This is all galaxies created for the top lane. He oh, made it away. what? Any TP's out. That is so ridiculous. He's just made so much space for his team. They got a tier two and a tier three tower. The glyph hasn't even come back yet. And the Earthshaker's still alive. This should be another lane of barracks. Matumba Man getting focused. He's already used that Black King bar. Stun out on the dread, but Nempi showing off his 10 second BKB doing a lot of damage here. Roman will be the first to get brought down. Just a noob taking huge burst damage. Barely limps back to the well, but completely crippled. Meanwhile, on the other side, dread gets killed. Volux just zoning them out, tanking the frost arrows. Tethered up to Boogie, they are repelled back to the well. The top lane of barracks have been cleared out. Now for ASC, just having some fun. Volix taking damage from the fire bush. It actually ends up costing him his life. They will back out with only one casualty. Trixie, yeah, he's just pushing the mid lane all the while. He's not even here. Matumba Man, uh oh. Could he get left behind? Silence from the Drow. There is a relocate, but now out of mana. They da do finish off the Sven. The godlike streak goes to the Drow Ranger. 1500 gold there, and Boogie does end up getting put down also. So some recovery there for HR, but they did lose their second lane of barracks. And their their only attack. remaining barracks are already exposed. I I don't see All a right. hopeful well, frontier for them at this point. Nemphi even strings together <laughs> another. The, the kills just don't stop. I had Trixie two targets to choose a, from oh, there, nice and I chose wrong. I was following Trixie, hoping for a big uh, Echo Slam kind of play. He didn't have it up yet. He will maybe get got him. It's Trixie versus the world, but now silenced by Drow Ranger. Oh no, four ASC. Hit him. There. They're yeah. going to give him a, a sign of oh, life here. No! Get it. <laughs> oh, oh, my. There's your Echo so Slam onto Afeninje, but... Oh, oh okay. gosh. That was... Well, I can't say completely disastrous. There's no Tier 3 towers remaining, just one... Here we go. HR. Oh, look at this. They're going to smoke and actually head out from the base. So if this doesn't go well, it's game. But if uh -oh. it does go well, they might prolong this game a little bit further. Take a look at Dire Vision here. We'll see what they see. It's not much. They poking the dread, the blink forward initiation onto Matumba Man. They hit him with a silence, but he BKBs. Oh. They lose Rubik straight away. Broodmother just evaporates under the power of the Sven. Now stun onto the Vengeful Spirit. They should have the damage. A swap. Not going to keep Dread alive. And, uh, well, you were talking about a disastrous team fight. It was exactly that. A four for nil. HR 
tap out as 4ASC take this opening series uh, series 2-1, but boy, was it a, a bloodbath and a hell of a back and forth best of three. Yeah, I mean, definitely something that people need to watch if they weren't here to see it live. One hell of a series. Credit to four anchors withstanding at the end, and especially Matama, man, playing one of the most manly Svens I've ever seen in my goddamn life. 21, 6, and 10. It's ridiculous.